Hello and welcome back, mateys. We're just about to talk with Eldis about uh, the rescued slaves. I don't I... actually drink out of the skulls. I just turn them into cups for decoration. Oh, that makes sense. Actually, it would be better if my uh, teammates would be near me. Just in case they need to uh, help me out with the right thing to say. <laughs> because that's just how this works. Uh, well, I didn't keep any slaves, so I, I mean, you should be proud, right? Well, what can I do, you love some? Crux Spurs are the done deal. Aye, and well done too. Most of the prisoners have pledged to cruise in my fleet. That's not. That was not my intention. You did a fine thing, Captain. Don't think I'll soon forget it. She rubs her thumb over the sulanet around her neck, miscolored eyes looking you up and down, her lips quirk in a sly smile. You're real good for business. So, here's to hoping our wakes cross again someday. Do you have something better than that old guy? Put two perception. Hits converted to crits with ranged weapons. Action speed with daggers, rapers and stilettos. Oh, that's very interesting. Hits to crits. So this is both good for... Well, this is the best, obviously, for someone who likes to use ranged weapons and has a, a backup uh, one-hander style. But yeah, daggers, rapers, and stilettos. I think the second... Uh, Con second uh, condition is stronger. 25% action speed versus hit to crit is, is pretty good. Until then, you can trust that I'll be in touch when I need you. About Furanta. Got something for me, Dove? She leans forward with interest, the corner of her lips curving wickedly. I'm all ears. Uh... It was Ferrante who told me to, where to find Bambat. I figured as much. That's how Ferrante gained his political standing. And that's how he keeps it. With underhanded tactics that whittle his opponents into ruin. Yeah, that Ferrante guy. Me? I prefer to face my foes head on. Give them the chance to join me before I fucking annihilate them. Well, that's good to hear. The captain's miscolored eyes align with her. Mischief. And I like to reward those who support me. I'm good to my allies, you see. For your troubles, Dove, let me share with you a little of my treasure. Uh, let's discuss this another As time. You wish, Dove. Very well. So, do you have another mission for me? Uh, so we got some new stuff. No. New stuff. This hood. Uh, it's gonna be used by someone who either uses a rapier that I do use right now So either she Or he Actually, she is not using the rapier right now. She's running around with migrants f uh, favor So he can use the black blades hood recovery time uh, 2.7 and attack time of course 2.2, so that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. And free base. Okay, let's go with that. So he's gonna be fairly perceptive now. Deltro's cage. Do you even have a helmet? Uh, you're very welcome to Deltro's cage. And I don't really like uh, have, uh, showing the helmets because it's kind of takes away from the identity of the characters. Also. Would you really running? Would you be really running around with your helmet all the time? Wouldn't you like take it off between fights? Don't get me wrong, like helmet on in the fight, I'm on board with that. But out of the fights, eh, I don't think so. Anyway, that wasn't too bad. So she didn't try to scam me with some uh, fortitude cloak, I suppose. Ah, uh, let's just go to the court. So the question is, how much do these people like me around here? Because if we can get some, buy some good stuff, uh, that that might be something uh, worth exploring, I, I believe. I'm not so sure what would be the good stuff right now. But I suppose I'm open to it, open to looking uh, 
for some good stuff. And question is, where do we go next? Is it gonna be one of the main missions? Obviously we need to sail northwest. Uh, we still have a lot to do there. I don't know what's gonna happen at um, east actually. We don't know anything about that. So people work in the forge or is this just completely wiped out now? Skatevin. Much better now? Well, is it really? I love how they just took over the place. Um, that's really nice. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> It wouldn't be too bad if uh, she had a guy uh, inside that just said like, Hey, you wanna go to the ship? Hell yeah, let's go to the ship. Because, yeah, you might have some loading screens uh, in your way. Not the best. Not too annoying, but... Not the best. So, it's actually night. You can't... what? I couldn't read it in time. So, do we have some new merchants? Wait a second. Now? You're still getting tortured here? Wow. At that point, that is just uh, very unhealthy. Imagine that. It's like, oh yeah, a Bamut is dead. You wanna come down? Nah, I'm good. Care to have a look? Right uh, away. Show me what you got. Nah, that's just garbage. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm passing here. Why are you setting crap, crap here? All right, time to leave. Maybe go to port. And uh, have some of our sailors sit out and uh, rotate them around a little bit because they're injured. I don't personally care for this micromanagement, but it would be nice if the crew morale wasn't always one. I would like to see that. So, yeah, I suppose we're gonna go with that. Maybe we're gonna head toward Nekataka. Uh, on our way uh, north. <clears throat> Actually, can we take out this pirate? He's been around for so long. It's truly time to take him out. Merchant vessel, attack. Did it work? It doesn't work. For some reason, that merchant vessel is bugged. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Ship management. Okay, they are injured. Well, that sucks. Party management. So, the thing is, uh, unfortunately, Yudvin is a sidekick. Tehehu, Tehehu is his full companion, Palagina, and a lot. And Constantin is, just, is a sidekick as well. Apparently, there are other sidekicks you can find uh, that I don't have yet. Sidekick means that. It's almost like uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot to say. Not not really. Can we just take out this guy? Did I save? I really hope I saved. <laughs> Fourteen versus eighteen. Come on, we can take him out. Close the board. Give no quarter. If we do it right, I think we can uh, nail this. Last time I, I believe we were 10. And uh, that's obviously bad. But if you're smart about this, I think it's possibly doable. I just don't want to come... I don't want to see this person uh, sailing uh, 
report Maya all the time. What's written on the ship? Couldn't read it in time. Okay, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, we're turning off the extra speed. What? Okay, uh, Seraphim, how about... Uh, kind of my fault. I would love to reposition that. Something like that. Sorry, friend. Okay. okay. Time to terrify them. So we take less damage. Oh, can we nail more of them with that? Okay. Mission. Terrify them! Looks like it's gonna work on a lot of them. Okay, let's uh, drop a big bomb on them. Sand blight. Don't even know what that is. Okay, quite a lot of enemies. Good thing that Alot is such a beast tank. Takehu running around as a shark. Oh, Takehu, what are you doing? Looks like we will be able to get away with doing nothing from now on. Maybe terrify the ones on the left. Yeah. Not exactly a tough fight, but tougher than last time. Bailey and Sailor, uh, I'm sorry. You think you're gonna get away? That's it, right? Let's see if they had anything. Legendary leather armor. Okay. Legendary one, so they had some better stuff. Legendary greatsword, legendary le Okay, they had a, a few. Oh, it's only a superb. Pathetic. Pathetic, guys. What else you guys got? Legendary plate armor. It's a good way to get some loot. But, uh, legendary archibus, raper, small shield, plate shield. But no legendary padded armor. Or. Yeah. Only superb. Well, we're not gonna share that with the crew. Are you crazy? No way. Zero chance. This thing is a good haul. They also had some cannons. Alright. Here we go. Now that is promising. <clears throat> so where to next? We go we go up to Nekataka. Perhaps uh change some sailors. Yeah, we're gonna go up to Nekataka. Come on. Yeah, we're going toward Nekataka. Deceiva the shark. Yeah, she's gonna get killed. Eventually. I don't really want to do a lot of things in port. Other than... Uh, deal a little bit with the ship management. It's gonna take us ages to heal. I, sh I can only... I can also kick them out. Uh, that's the surgeon. That's the cook. Uh, that's the spotter, navigator. 
So they are really good at their job, but they are injured. The morale is bad. Okay. Nakataka, I just came to supply. Did I? Did I? Well, I'm at port now. Can I switch around the guys? Do I need to actually go into Nakataka? No, I don't have to. Okay. Or do I? No, I don't. So let's see what we got here. What? Okay, deckhand. Cannoneer, 17 days, another deckhand, 26 days, 21 days, 38 days, navigator, you know what, anyone who's just like out for like two years, uh, it's gonna just uh, take a time out, surgeon, so the, the surgeon is helping the heal rate, we can use this as a deckhand. Anyone who's a navigator, he's gonna be our navigator. Deckhand or the mad. So that's helmsman. That's the helmsman position. So we actually put that guy. Uh, yeah, he can be an okay deckhand. Cannoneer. I guess he's getting better as a deckhand. Cook, a really good cook, 15 days, 21 days, cannoneer, 26 days, another deckhand, cannoneer, who do we have as a cannoneer, really good cannoneer, this can be a cook, uh, handsome Elium, okay, you're gonna be the cook, <sighs> you gonna be the cannoneer, and you're gonna be the deckhand. Okay. Injured. He's only good as a navigator, and that's a helmsman. That's a navigator position. Surgeon, worthless idiot. Is gonna be our surgeon for the time being. And do I really want a cannoneer? So thing is, assuming these people, no, nah, that's just a long time. 38 and 36, 22, 21, 24. I would like to see uh, maybe Arena get better. 24. It it doesn't matter. We can't use him anyway. So. Okay, 21, 24. We just we're just kicking the guys who would take way too fucking long to heal up. Not sure how that works. Okay, we have enough food. Alright, let's go. So what what about the morale right now? Is it going down? It's going down because we're drinking water. Uh, let's see. I might just ignore the ship completely. It doesn't lower the morale. Ship crew morale for eating uh, fresh fruit goes up. So if he went with fresh fruit plus ale, uh, then the morale would slowly go up. Yes. That's pretty good. Okay, whatever. Let's go with that. As I said, I don't care too much about micromanaging uh, the ship. Hurangi? Hey, Hurangi, you coming this way? Because I would like to have a word with you. Silver Winds Voyager. Oh no, they're gonna get completely owned. One day. I'm probably not even gonna press one button.
Unless I really want to. Even the Kamo warriors were not just dumb to attack the Defiant. Yeah, these guys have no chance. Kill them all! Ooh. Okay, sure. We gotta kill the Charm Duoman. Duana Warrior. I'm not gonna wait for that, but still. Alright. So that's it! We do have a good hold though. All the legendary gear we gathered. At this point I'm just so spoiled that like, oh, legendary, it's not so bad. I guess we're looking for uh, unique and legendary. Legendary I suppose a quality in this game. The Sea with the Shark. So I think the next stop is Hasongo. Morale is going up. Daily wages are quite a bit. Come on, deceive with the shark. I'm not gonna chase you. I suppose taking uh, this deceive out is not that valuable. Not that profitable. It's only a uh, level 12. Now it would be a lot more interesting if the the loot leveled as well, like like in Skyrim or I know it would make it more profitable. I just like ah, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm pretty sure that even the bounty on their head is just uh, like pathetic. Like a thousand copper at best. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I need to act? Maybe I should do a heal. But we should be doing it automatically. Okay, not terribly easy. Do a tie enchanter. Sure. Seems like my other companions are affected by the gear they're using or maybe I, I just assume that they're affected by the gear they're using so that could be a good way to allocate the new gear we found Well, that's all we got. Exceptional stuff. Yeah, that's just garbage. Yep, taking it all. So now that the morale went up, does it actually affect anything? Because if not, I might just be co completely and utterly comfortable with having totally injured crew. That they are angry. A little bit. But why? If they're gonna go for a mutiny right now, after all this time, I'll be somewhat disappointed. So, time to enter Hasango. They they had their chance to go for a mutiny, and they didn't do it. Of course the mutiny would go very simply, I killed them all. And uh, then would sail to the nearest port and say that Hey, who wants to work for one copper a day or no copper a day? 
think about that. And they're gonna be like, oh yeah, me, 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 me. And uh, we hired them and that's cool. I wonder if they're... Uh, if they're... Salary? Or... Not sure how I would say that, but like that that's kind of what I'm talking about. If their cost changes per day, uh, based on their skill, do they ask for more money? Because if so, they just get uh, thrown out of the ship. Come on, you joined up for one copper a day just because you're an expert navigator now. Doesn't mean... Zura asked me to train a crop of new sailors. Doesn't mean you're gonna get more. Maya's server is the wreckage of a Sungo betraying no clear emotion. Guess the sharpshooting lesson was wasted. Should have spent that time talking about home. I'm sorry, Maya. We'll do whatever we can to avenge them. I know anything about this place that could help us? I didn't stay long. We sailed north for target practice, then circled back. And Maya frowns, tapping her foot until Ishiza comes closer. Should have kept going. Maya sighs and nudges Ishiza affectionately with her toe. I'm sorry, Maya. We'll do whatever we can to avenge them. Nodding, Maya strikes a salute to the ruins of Hasango. She holds that position for a lingering moment, then stands at ease with a sigh. <clears throat> sure thing. I don't get this at all. There was a Dawnstar settlement on Hasango. Yes. Either kicks at a few splinters of shattered wood strewn across the path. The place got trampled just the same. This is a vile betrayal? Nah. It doesn't seem to matter who he hurts. He does as he pleases. This is why it went all over again. Only now we know it really is Aethys behind it. I'll tell you one thing. When we catch up to that unstoppable god statue, me and him are gonna have words. Lava better be alright. I wonder how the fight is gonna go, or... Probably Unless we can't there's an... really fight him. What the heck, Coral Nuggets? And then he's like, knock down, knock down, knock down. Yeah, fine. Captain. So this area you were saying. is not really high level. That's not what I wanted. Still the lighthouse. What is this? Storage tower. I wonder what Soti will say, how will she react? Oh, a lot of people in here! How did you guys survive? Because, uh, previously, uh, people survived by hiding in a big metal building, I, I suppose. it's. Not exactly sure how to describe it, but yeah, it was a big metal building. So I, I just assumed that it was somehow special. Because then we later saw that, that in the tunnels, people were actually dead, their souls were sucked out. But now people are finding the storage house? An Almana woman whirls toward you, her eyes wide and wild. Her uniform is this he heveled as it from several days wear, and her breath comes in rapid gasps. Uh, with her are a few wounded soldiers and a huddle of commoners in Thursday and farmers' smocks. So these people have probably missed the attack and came back. Shut the door, quick, before the Naga get in. It's already closed, but her glazed eyes seem to be staring beyond it. The soldiers look up too. Their faces are drawn with pain and exhaustion. Their eyes rimmed with Rim red and gray. It's alright. I'm here to help. 
We're the finest soldiers and cannoneers in Aora. We don't need anything. Oh. You sure about that? Her hand starts to tremble at her side. There's something unusual about her brittle confidence. Uh, distance there and shaking hand. We can read the signs. Whatever she saw here has rattled her to the core. Insight. Yeah, that's pretty important. Captain, two places I've seen that look. Healer's tents and exceptional brothels. This is neither. <clears throat> How do you know? But imagine if it was like a two for one. Like, sex nurse. Just throwing it out there. She blinks at you as if seeing you for the first time. Wait. You're not the reinforcements. There there are supposed to be reinforcements. I know about that. Calm down and tell me what happened here. I come on the authority of all the powers in Ekataka. It's okay. Azanui Karu sent me to find out what happened here. He did? Oh yeah, I was about to uh, kill the queen or... I don't know, kill a bunch of people in power because apparently they are a uh, tribal society well, tribal so socialist society um, well, they share everything and pool their resources and everyone is taken care of but, uh, and apparently that works uh, at least in tribes but uh, it is not exactly working in a a big city, city like Nakataka, or bigger, bigger town, whatever we call it, so... And I couldn't even, uh, have a conversation about it. And it's not really just, uh, an issue of, uh, like, poor, pe poor people are not getting help. And uh, rich people, they just just whatever, like keep whatever they have. It's not a conversation about that. But like everyone apparently uh, sends their, I don't know, earnings or whatever they they have to the queen, and the queen uh, apparently distributes it. So whatever, I'm definitely not past that. So I'm still looking forward to talking. Uh, with the queen about that. I come on the authority of all the powers in, in Nakataka, apparently. The wounded soldier almost leaps to his feet. Oh yeah! Talking to me is like talking to the queen, okay? So, was this destruction the work of the Valians? Or maybe a trick of the Huana queen? Damn. These people are lost. His eyes dart wildly around the room. He's no better off than Zuhira. Will someone start making sense? We're never going to get anywhere arguing like this. Calm down and tell me what happened here. I can be... I can be mad and it, that could be... that could feel right. But that's not gonna be very useful. Calm down and tell me what happened here. She closes her eyes, but her hands are still shaking. The first thing was the Colossus. It showed up a, a few days ago, a week ago, I, I can't be sure. Okay. But it was huge. Glowed like luminous Audra. Her eyes start to glaze over again. She stares into the distance, her mouth slightly open. Her wounded companion, meanwhile, is staring suspiciously at the farmers. They shrink from his gaze. You're here? You're safe? Um... Okay. Let's go for that line. She shakes her head, almost as if she didn't hear you. The Colossus was coming right for us. Fleetmaster Co. ordered the Gunhawks and Cannoneers to take up positions. We... She catches herself, breaking off with an Shame Grimace. They... they fought. You ran away. The rest of us were sent below, like cowards. 
She looks down at her hands, which she has balled into trembling fists. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a dumbass. Then I was uh, thinking about how did these people survive in here. Obviously, they didn't survive here, they just came here later. Focus, what did the Colossus do then? If you fought, you would be dead too. There was nothing you could do. What is that, rational? Stoic. We're trenchers, sons and daughters of Rawatai. We can handle anything. Okay. She glovers, clenching and unclenching her fists, working herself into a bold and or foolish bravery once more. I heard cannon blasts, artillery fire. Felt the world shake. Then the water started coming in. We came back up and the others were... I don't know. Like they'd been turned to ash. And the Colossus was walking away. The fort was flooding, where it had broken our walls, and the luminous Audra in the lighthouse had gone dark. What about the Naga? They skulked in after, once our walls were down. These cows. Those of us who were left fought. But those cowards moved through the sunken hallways. Ambushed us from below. And those of you who survived ended up here? You weren't even at full strength? Why not take shelter? <laughs> The only coverts are the ones who ran away from the fight. You fought... I don't know what to go for here. I don't want to be a smartass about it. You fought to the last, take pride in that. Both Zuhira and the angry soldier nod, heartened in the barest degree. Because... Well, even if it was a mistake, Thing is, you just don't know when you are... Well, you make mistakes. In any situation, especially in time-sensitive ones. Uh, well... <laughs> especially if you are not really calm and clear-headed, so... Whatever, continue. When the Hazanui's reinforcements get here, we'll strike back. Yeah! He trails off, his gaze distant at the scenarios of bloody vengeance, no doubt playing in his mind's eye and build our walls back up so nothing gets through and double our cannons so we can destroy that colossus if it ever comes back i understand that you guys want to feel power, uh, like in control right now so i suppose i can't i don't want to take that away from you because you can channel that into uh productivity instead of like oh crap uh, giant is here. He's gonna. Uh, he can just come in any time. We are pretty screwed. The Colossus that marched through here was Eotas. This is a fortress. Surely you got some way of fighting the Naga. Yeah, let's just say that. Is it? Is it really? I think is. I. I didn't. I was hesitant to bring up Eotas before because I don't wanna necessarily just start a debate about Eotas. Who are you? Zahira, assistant quartermaster. She crosses her arms over over her chest in a perfunctory uh, salute. I, is there anything else? What do you have against the farmers? Dawn stars. <laughs> the cuffs of all the bloody plague on, onto the floor. Fleet Master Co. hired them to tend the fields that supply the mainland, but they started acting strange. Dreaming strange. Dreaming strange? You mean dreaming of things to come. One of them, Lotharin, had a row with the Fleet Master over it. Left angry just before the Colossus showed up. Okay. Think about it. How could a bunch of farmers have done this? You'd be surprised. One time me and my brother filled this fella's house with manure. Right up to the roof. All different kinds of it. And there... This is not the time for stories. But that was a good one. That was the last time he ever called us irresponsible. And started calling you guys something else. Zuhir stares at him, seemingly parsing his story for meaning. I think they're praying <laughs> called it here. <laughs> getting back at us for the god hammer. Even if not, they definitely know something. He practically spits at the farmers. Okay. You guys want to die? I can just say that only farmers survived here. 
Spitting at our god? You ought to fear for the future of your soul. The Colossus that marched through here was Aeltas. That monster that killed our people? I suppose he does look like a monster from down here. I told you, Zuhira. The Godhammer scrambled their god, and now he's taking his revenge. Our gods are above petty motivations like revenge. Now, Gon's got a bigger plan for you and me. Right. We are aware of his atrocities. It's no coincidence your Aethus shows up just as Latharn storms out. This is a fortress. Surely you got some way of fighting the Naga. She bristles. The finest cannons and bombards in the archipelago. Why, you can barely walk the ramparts without... without... As she remembers the destruction outside, her indignation fades away and that distant look returns to her eyes. There's still one. There must be one. Th they can't all have been destroyed. But you'll need a trained artillerist to aim it. She nods, pulling herself back from the brink of panic. The big guns and me are on friendly terms already, Captain. <laughs> Maya strikes a salute and grins. Where's the Adra lighthouse? On the western side of the fort. It's a true marvel, a monument to Rawatayan engineering. Thanks. Proof we can tame and transform this place. Once we get rid of the scale bellies. Wow. You guys are surely confident after what just happened. And very eager to uh, pick on the farmers. Don't go back out there. You'll be safe here until reinforcements arrive. Her throat makes a dry clicking sound as she swallows. Just stay away from the water. Damn scale bellies are hiding down there. They'll ambush if you get close. Sometimes you can see them if you look carefully. She stares off again, gazing at nothing. Can I take that? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Need to explore this island. And possibly kill every Naga we find. Well, definitely kill every Naga we find. Maybe this is a good time to take a break. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.